Nothing is more frightening than a fear you cannot name. <laughs> So I woke up at dawn because I was very thirsty. I grabbed the water bottle that I keep next to my bed and opened my eyes to see this tall, skinny entity standing near the door of my bathroom. It was about six to seven feet tall, white, extremely skinny, with a narrow chest and waist. I could see its ribs and the bones on its elongated arms, which were sort of bent at an angle. I didn't see its feet or legs, but it had the head of an anteater, with beady, black eyes. Somehow I didn't feel threatened or anxious. It felt like it was just supposed to be there. I remember keeping my water bottle away and falling asleep and waking up for work. I remembered the event and immediately wrote it down. The weirdest part is that I didn't see it. I would describe it as seeing a red car and then trying to tell someone else about it an hour later. I can see the car. I knew I saw it, but I didn't physically experience the seeing. It's extremely difficult to explain and it shouldn't be. One of the things I do for a living is write copy and captions for marketing material. I can't describe this. It feels so strange thinking about it now. I get this strange taste in my mouth when I even think of the memory. Some said this is in line with alien abductions, and someone else mentioned their husband saw it earlier. I don't know what this is, so can someone please help me out? For the record, I don't smoke, drink, or do drugs. I'm a healthy 25-year-old male. I live alone. Nothing special going on in my life. If anyone has ever driven in Alabama, then you know it can be a creepy state to drive through. I'm not sure where to start. I have had a few experiences with the paranormal, which I plan to post here as I find the time, but this is my only cryptid experience. I'm not sure what we witnessed, but we got a good look at it in broad daylight. The sighting happened just before noon. My girlfriend and I had some time off of work so we decided on a much needed getaway for a long weekend. This was early 2019, late January, February. So it was pretty down cold. That being said, if you don't know anything about the southern USA, it doesn't get that cold. This is one of those rare days when it was 30 or 40 degrees Fahrenheit range. I'm just trying to compile all the events surrounding the sighting, so bear with me here. We were on a highway in a swampy area. I have no idea the exact location, but I can say it was in southern Alabama and close to Mississippi. There were lots of bridges. I wish we could have gotten pics, but the car was moving around 60 miles per hour when it happened. My girlfriend cries out for me to look, and I turn my head to glimpse a grotesque looking creature. This thing was hunched down on all fours, possibly eating something. This all happened so fast, but I slowed down. To get a better look. All of a sudden the thing stands on two legs and has a humanoid figure, all except the head. The head was goat-like, but it had the body of a man. There were horns and overall the head area resembled a light-colored goat. The creature started back towards the woods and we continued with our trip, but we couldn't stop talking about what we had just witnessed. I cannot be 100% sure of what we saw. This all happened so fast. My girlfriend swears it was a man with a goat head and I am certain I saw the same thing. If anyone has any insight into cryptids of this type or a similar sighting, I'd be glad to hear it. Stay safe out there. This happened when I was probably seven or eight. 
I was sleeping with my mother in her room because my dad worked night shift. It was a warm summer night, so we had the windows open. Our house is right next to the woods. I remember waking up to the piercing scream of what sounded like maybe a bobcat or some other similar animal. My mother and I both bolted upright at the sound, and a second later, my older sister darts into the room and jumps on the bed. Then we hear why it's screaming. Whatever had a hold of this animal was big, and it was snorting and chewing as the animal it was killing screamed for its life. Now, I've done a bit of reflecting as an adult on this night, and it's still a topic that pops up when we are talking about freaky shit. The only way I can describe the sounds is similar to a big boar, snorting the way it did. The power behind the snorts made me think it was a bear or something with massive lung capacity. After about a minute of sitting frozen on the bed, we made our way to the window to peek outside and see if we could catch a glimpse of what the hell it was eating this animal. We couldn't see anything in the darkness of the woods, but we could hear clear as day the chomping of the predator and the snapping of the bones of the prey. It was just past the tree line, maybe 20 yards away, but it was so loud it could have lasted for a solid 10 minutes. When we heard it walk away, it was like it killed something, ate it and disintegrated into thin air or stood there watching us. It was silent and so were we for a long time, just listening to nothing, too afraid to even breathe. It's an eerie feeling when the forest is silent. You could have heard a pin drop. This thing had to be huge, I cannot stress that enough. A bear we would have heard roaming around the brush afterward. Same for any other larger predator like a mountain lion, and there are no boars in Pennsylvania. It didn't sound like any of those things though. I have since seen and heard the likes of the animals and nothing I have ever heard sounds even remotely close to what we heard that night. But that's not even the weirdest part. The next morning we told my dad what happened and we all went scouring the area where we heard it take place, just inside of the tree line. There wasn't a single twig of place, no evidence of a scuffle, no prints, no carcass, not even a drop of blood, absolutely nothing. With the amount of brush and how large this thing sounded, there should have definitely been some kind of remnants of the shit we heard. There was nothing. So what the hell? Was it a ghost bear? Bigfoot? A fucking werewolf? I really couldn't tell you, but I never ventured too far into the woods at night. I live in Russia, and my encounter happened around a year ago, in February. I was walking by the embankment at 10pm. It was already dark and nobody was around. There is a road which has three levels, a big street, and then it goes down to a smaller one and finally the embankment, that turns into the small path through thick snow. Imagine, you are walking through the industrial area which barely has street lights. No people. On your left, there is a little forest. And on the right, there is a river. So I was walking on the path when I saw a man. His whole appearance alarmed me instantly. He had skis on, but was trying to walk as he was without them. In the deep snow, it was around his knee level. I saw how much effort it took him not to fall and keep moving. There's no way to avoid this person because the only tiny path through the snow goes there. And he was staring at me, smiling. Not sure if in the predatory way, but, but something was weird in that smile. I thought, well, if anything happens I can push him and run away, and kept moving. When I was right next to him, this happened. Everything took only three seconds or so. I was watching his every move with my side vision, and one moment, he disappeared. There's nowhere to hide, the trees are 100 meters away, and hiding in the snow is not an option cause you would be visible anyway. He was gone. 
I slightly turned my head to that direction when I captured something right behind me. A stick man. It was absolutely black. Around my height, maybe a bit taller. 190 centimeters or so. Very thin, but with a big head. No neck at all. It was standing in a very threatening position with its arms set apart, like an animal preparing to attack. This figure looked like a picture printed straight on the air. I thought that 2D objects should be material at some point, with the thickness of a sheet of paper for example. But no, this looked entirely different. I turned my head away and started running to the second level of the road. When I got there, I looked back. This thing was peeking out of a tree, and when I spotted it, it got behind it, hiding. At this point, I really thought that I was going to die, for sure. When I got to the third level, some cars were driving nearby, so it calmed me down a little. I looked back again. The stick man was standing in the spot where I was seconds ago, right in the middle of the road. The whole landscape looked so unreal at that at some point, I questioned my sanity. This time I kept the contact and tried to examine this thing. The stick man was slightly moving back and forth but its whole body had a very stable dark black figure. And it also needs to be mentioned the feeling I got. I watched the Beyond Creepy video and some people that saw something similar claimed to have a uh, you shouldn't see this feeling. I got something like that as well, and the survival instincts were blurred, but my mind kept telling me to flee. Also I felt like, finally you found me. Imagine when you play hide and seek and your cousin is very slow finding anybody, so you sit in your place for a long 20 minutes. At first, you still feel the pleasure from the game, but later it gets boring. So when the cousin finally finds you you feel some sort of a relief. I think that something tried to stop me from walking away because at some point, there was a little desire to approach the thing and become friends. It was obvious that it was following me, and the thing is I lived very close to that place. I didn't know what to do, either to wander through the streets so it would lose me, or to go directly home, but this thing would know where I lived. I decided to run to safety immediately without looking back. And yeah, it's not the end. That night, I had sleep paralysis. I remember laying in bed, listening to the sound of water from my aquarium when it suddenly stopped. I thought that somebody was trying to get my attention, so I opened my eyes. Right next to the bed, there was the same black figure. This was it, the end of my life. I literally saw my entire 17 years before my eyes. This figure just stood 3 feet away from me, and then it turned into a fog. When it was entirely inside my body, I woke up. Or I didn't sleep at all, I, I don't know. The thing is, I haven't noticed any difference within myself since. The whole encounter was very different from anything I've seen in my life. There are things you've never experienced before, so you don't actually know what to think or feel, and you're filled with curiosity. I'm low-key disturbed because... Would I find myself one day in the middle of nowhere, approaching a random person with the skis on, and disappearing the next moment? Did that man mean anything, or was it a dream? I barely remember that man's face, so it is pointless to search for lost people, I guess. And... Is it inside me? Waiting for something? I don't really know what to think about this. English is not my native language, so please excuse my mistakes. The whole thing is completely true, and I didn't add anything. I've told this only to three people, and nobody believed me. So, if you've encountered something like that too, I would be glad to know. Hello watchers and listeners, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already.
A huge thank you to all the Reddit users who kindly allowed me to use their stories. Links to everything will be in the description below. As always, thank you all so much for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. And remember, Papa loves you.